my virtual laboratory. So today we're going to learn chemistry and its branches. Let's go! Chemistry is the study of matter and its composition. It is also considered as the central science. As a central science, chemistry is necessary to understand other sciences. Chemistry may be categorized into six major branches, which include the following analytical chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry, biological or biochemistry, inorganic chemistry, and polymer chemistry. Analytical chemistry is the art and science of determining what matter is and how much of it exists. It is concerned mainly with the various techniques and laboratory methods to determine the composition of matter. Analytical chemists use their knowledge of chemistry, instrumentation, computers, and statistics to solve problems in almost all areas of chemistry and for all kinds of industries. For example, their measurements are used to assure the safety and quality of food, pharmaceuticals, and water, to assure compliance with environmental and other regulations, to support the legal process, to help physicians diagnose diseases, and to provide measurements and documentation essential to trade and commerce. Next branch is organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is the study of the structure, properties, and reactions of compounds and materials that contain carbon atoms. This branch of chemistry was originally limited to compounds produced by living organisms but has been broadened to include human-made substances such as plastics. The range of application of organic compounds is enormous and also includes but is not limited to pharmaceuticals, petrochemicals, food, explosives, paint, and cosmetics. Where is organic chemistry used? Organic chemistry is a highly creative science in which chemists create new molecules and explore the properties of existing compounds. It is the most popular field of the study for American Chemical Society chemists and PhD chemists. Organic compounds are all around us. They are central to the economic growth of the United States in the rubber, plastic, fuel, pharmaceutical, cosmetics, detergent, coatings, dye stuff, and agrochemical industries, to name a few. The very foundation of biochemistry, biotechnology, and medicine are built on organic compounds and their role in life processes. Many modern high-tech materials are at least partially composed of organic compounds. Physical chemistry is the study of how matter behaves on a molecular and atomic level and how chemical reactions occur. Based on their analysis, physical chemists may develop new theories such as how complex structures are formed, physical chemists often work closely with material scientists to research and develop potential uses for new materials. Biochemistry is the study of the structure, composition, and chemical reactions of substances in living systems. Biochemistry has obvious applications in medicine, dentistry, and veterinary medicine. In food science, biochemists determine the chemical composition of foods, research ways to develop abundant and inexpensive sources of nutritious foods, develop methods to extract nutrients from waste products, and or invent ways to prolong the shelf life of food products. Inorganic chemistry is the study of properties and behavior of inorganic compounds, those that are not organic or carbon containing which include metals minerals and organometallic compounds inorganic compounds are used as catalysts pigments coatings surfactants medicines fuels and more they often have high melting points and specific high or low electrical conductivity properties which make them useful for specific purposes for example, ammonia is a nitrogen source in fertilizer and it is one of the major inorganic chemicals used in the production of nylons, fibers, plastics, polyurethanes or the one that is used in tough chemical resistant coatings, adhesives, and foams. 
hydrazine, the one used in jet and rocket fuels, and explosives. Another example is chlorine. Chlorine is used in the manufacture of polyvinyl chloride or the one used for pipes, clothing, furniture. Then we have agrochemicals. Example is the fertilizer, insecticide, or soil treatment. And also pharmaceuticals as well as chemicals for water treatment and sterilization. Polymer chemistry is a subdiscipline of chemistry that focuses on the chemical synthesis, structure, chemical and physical properties of polymers and micromolecules. The majority of polymer chemists work in industry and focus on the end-use application of products with an emphasis on applied research and preparation.